Hi, my name is Kimberly Kutz, and I'm a postdoctoral associate at the Virginia Center for Civil War Studies, which is part of the History Department at Virginia Tech. This spring, I'm teaching a special one-time only topics course on Abraham Lincoln, the man, the myth, the legend. And this is a class that's really based out of my own research on Abraham Lincoln, where I take students through first Lincoln's life from his childhood through his upbringing, his political aspirations, and his presidency. Then before spring break, we kill him off. And after spring break, we talk about Lincoln's legacy in American life. So this course is really unique because it's timed with the sesquicentennial of the Civil War, which means that students have an opportunity to engage with a lot of the events being put on in the broader nation for the 150th anniversary of Lincoln's assassination, and also by the Virginia Center for Civil War Studies. Last fall, I spent about four months going through everything related to Abraham Lincoln in Virginia Tech's special collections. And the objects I chose for this exhibit were really the cream of the crop, the most relevant and also I think the most interesting for the general public, particularly some relics of Abraham Lincoln, such as pieces of cloth supposedly taken from Lincoln's casket and also a piece of brick which is supposed to be from the Garrett farmstead where John Wilkes Booth was shot. So even though there are thousands of objects and documents in Virginia Tech's special collections, for me, I really wanted to showcase the things that would bring people in and be most interesting to the general public. So my idea was to give each of the students one object in the exhibition that they could focus on and then create a one to three minute video explaining the context of the object, what it was all about, so that viewers of the exhibit could understand each piece through the student's own words. We also wanted to showcase some popular prints from the immediate <clears throat> aftermath of Lincoln's assassination because in this time period, photography could not yet be reproduced in newspapers. So illustrations from popular print companies such as Courier and Ives were the only way that people could get images of what the assassination looked like, what the funeral train looked like, what Lincoln's deathbed room looked like. So there are a lot of illustrations from this time period that kind of do the time of reporting that's so important for us today. With the Virginia Center for Civil War Studies, we were looking for the best place to do an exhibit that would reach the greatest number of people and I think have the greatest impact. And we really did our research. We visited every museum that we could find within a certain mile radius. And the library at Virginia Tech was far and away the best place. So one thing that's really important about this exhibit is how it showcases the special collections that Virginia Tech has. I think when people think about studying the Civil War, they usually don't think Virginia Tech is the place that I have to go to get my Civil War documents. And I think we're trying to show that absolutely Virginia Tech is one of the best places that you can study the Civil War. The special collections here has thousands upon thousands of personal letters, diaries, and other objects from the Civil War, and really a, a terrific environment to work on research projects and also just to appreciate the value of the Civil War in Virginia.